on. Right. In order for grapes to be turned into wine, they have to be crushed. In order for a seed to grow, it has to be thrown in the dirt and into the darkness. In order for rocks to be turned into diamonds, they have to be put under pressure and melted. So whenever you're feeling alone in the dark, under pressure, or you feel crushed, just remember these things that you are growing and you're revolving. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sonobo Teta, aka the best in the world, but you already knew that. Welcome to the best in the world podcast. It's the best in the world, baby. Greetings to all of my people, man. You are live with your boy. Actually, we're not live. You're on the tube, man. You're with your boy, Sonra Boteta, a.k.a. the best in the world. And welcome to the best in the world podcast, episode 12. I don't know how to do those 12 signs. I hope you guys have been good. I know it's been a while since I've done um, one of these virtual one-on-one podcast vibes. The last one you had was on voiceover. But nonetheless, man, we are here and we're having nothing but a good time informing you guys with awesome content, man. I just want to remind you guys, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really helps the video um, a lot and it helps the channel grow. Alright, since we last spoke, I want to get into a few things. Um, One thing that occurred in the last couple of weeks, or it's been a saga that's been occurring for a while now, um, that Leo Messi has officially left Barcelona for PSG. Uh, Big shout out to the Argentine legend, man. He really flew the flag high in terms of how a footballer should be at a professional prestige. So big shout out to Lionel Messi. And man, he had such a huge unveiling at PSG, Parc de France. Um, So check this out. Je ne vous cite pas tous au palmarès. Écoutez le parc, le nouveau numéro 30 du Paris Saint-Germain, Léo. Tell me about it, man. It's Messi. I mean, did you see the way the crowd applauded him and the energy? It was nothing but awesome and fantastic and fantabulous. But on the opposite rail, man, since we also last spoke, um, our music industry, um, in regards to be more specific, I'm a piano, lost two upcoming legends. Not a legend, but upcoming legends. Um, Bora Bora and Kilakao. I'll be the first person to say I've never been an Amapiano fan until the new wave of Amapiano artists came. I'm talking about Basta929, Mbohambora, Reese, and Ace Matlis or something like that. And these guys sort of moved away from the traditional lock drum Amapiano sound that we heard towards 2018 and 2019. And they brought a new awesome finesse. So I'd just like to say... Um, rest in peace to those two artists, man, you know, and rest in peace to Shauna Ferguson too, man, rest in peace to everyone who has passed away this year, there's been a lot of people that we have lost this year, so I just want to say, rest in peace to everyone, I know my timing is off, but sometimes you just need time um, to look at the levels, man, and analyze everything, analyze everything from the start to the finish, you know, you don't want to interject too quickly or um, be in a place whereby you're making early misjudgments. So it's very vital that you look at the bigger picture. That's why I'm most of the time late when it comes to my social commentary because it's different from portraying proper news and social commentary because I don't like talking about people. I like talking about things that can motivate, things that can excite you and pop culture referencing in general man so once again rest in peace to Kilakau and Mpurampura and I hope this is a lesson to everyone that you should tell people that you love you love them tell them that you love them because not every day is guaranteed but every day is a blessing and it's very important to utilize it 
and let it drive you to a positive pursuit. So speaking of a positive pursuit, yo man, we just landed ourselves a new sponsor. They go by the name of False Factory. And yeah, here's a nice young word for them before we proceed. Enjoy. Falls Factory, a proud sponsor of the best in the world. A huge shout out to all our friends from Falls Factory. Go check them out. They also have amazing, amazing merch. So support young black businesses, man. And let's do the most of what we can. Speaking of doing the most of what we can, um, I don't know if it was two weeks ago, I dropped um, a music video reaction to... The homeboy pretty ugly um he recently dropped his album the soil and he had a track man where he was coming at a couple of rappers so i'm not sure if this is an actual reply from one of the rappers he came out at but um pretty ugly in that song he did um, come at a few mcs within the game um in specific um he went to aries you know he had a couple of bars and shots for um for Aries. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Link is in the description. Um and Aries had a had a reply to the homeboy pretty ugly man. He had a track called Tough Luck. And just go check out the lyrics, man. You know? He talks about um a specific person. Because you know how these rappers are with some of these subliminals. So you can never be too sure. But in this video, he talks about a specific person. Who says he's not hot anymore and uses his name to get the clout so i'm pretty excited for how this is going to turn out man you haven't had something like this with an essay hip-hop some people think that beef is destructive in terms of the culture in my opinion it's not it helps the culture grow it just depends on how much of it you're willing to let it grow you i mean look at what jay-z and nas did they had one of the most intense beefs of all time and then they came together at an MTV stage and they ended the piece. You know, I hope the same goes for AKA and Casper in your vest. So speaking of AKA and Casper in your vest, um, everybody knows that last year AKA um, had a show called The Bride Show with AKA. It played on SABC One, and he did the first season. And now the um, the show is coming out with its second season. Um, but this time, funny enough. It's by a different host who goes by the name of Casper Nyovest. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he is hosting the Bryce Show um, Season 2. And apparently, um, aka, he owns half of the rights of the show, along with the media company called Cake Media. And aka's attorneys um, wrote out a letter to Cake Media saying that, listen... Um, we're not happy with this decision you took of making the host Casper your vest. And um, AK's attorneys ask um, people from Cape Media within the legal proceedings um, as if to rewind the decision of hiring Casper your vest. And ironically, Cape Media came back punching out saying that Mr. Keenan Forbes um, claims that he owns half of the copyrights of the show. Um, are not true So this is a back and forth story So I'm really really keen to see How it's going to happen you know. And the reason why I'm talking about it now Is because 
in a story you have to wait out for the whole thing to pan out you have to wait for it to pan out so you can watch the whole story so i'm pretty excited what's going to happen regarding that man but those two should come together and make a song jeez bro they've been beefing since 2013 2014 it's almost 10 years it's going to be one of the longest beefs within sa hip-hop you know so i really hope um the two work things out you know i mean it's two musical legends already in my opinion so um i really hope they work out the beef but it's interesting you know the beef get it because it's the price show so i really hope um they they they, they sort out the beef they really really sort out the beef all right and then another thing i want to engage all of my listeners out there is that spring is coming we're coming into the season of spring but right now we have a bit of a dusty wind but you're going into the season of spring and we're obviously in lockdown level three right now as we speak and slowly slowly hopefully the country will open and things will remain the same i just want to encourage everybody especially all the young people out there um to learn to be content within these times not to lose ourselves way too much and you hope that blessings come along your way because you all know this life thing ain't easy that's why i always say to all of my people that it's not a race it's your life you know don't rush trust the process we have to trust the process that's how we can grow you know we have to trust the process so big shout out to everyone who has been showing me love throughout all of these times you know i know i haven't been that keen in terms of production but you know how it is man it's the best in the world and you know how we do so don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps the youtube algorithm and it really really helps the channel grow so big shout out to everyone who's been showing us love you are with your boy son Wagoteta, aka the best in the world and this has been the best in the world podcast episode 12 i'm sorry i only have 10 fingers so i really really um cannot do that so don't forget to like and subscribe like all i say everything is at the bottom of the screen once again big shout out to everyone showing us love and don't forget to holler at my good friends from false factory you get 10 percent off when you use the code reference within the ad so big shout out to everyone you're with your boys and about teta aka the best in the world i'm out Best in the world, baby.